everybody, I'm Jackie. I'm here with my oldest son. Hi, I'm Joseph. And today we are going to make a keto egg roll in a bowl. A household favorite, right? So, uh, what do we need first? We need a tablespoon of coconut oil, Joseph. Now, for the viewer's sake, do, do we just like put this tablespoon just in there in the yeah. middle? Like that? Yep. Yeah. Pour it in there. Okay, less splish splashing. Just put it in the lid. Okay. Move this back out of your way. Uh, we do use the Kirkland uh, coconut oil because we buy the big tubs, so we like to uh, get it at Costco. It's just a cost saving factor for us, so whatever brand or kind you want to use. Um, so, in the oil, we need to heat and we need to add in our onion. So you got your diced onion, you use that to scrape it in there. Saute that around. Um, now, we don't have any garlic cloves, we thought we did before we were planning this. Um, so we are going to substitute the two cloves of garlic with a, I got a five of measuring spoon. Saute that around, get it all in the oil. The oil's down here. The onion's up there. <laughs> Got a saute. Yes, we do. Oops. Not launching it. <laughs> right, not launching it. Try to keep it in there. And we're going to add in our garlic. So we need a teaspoon of garlic. My measuring spoons, of course, are stuck together. There we go. So you're going to add your tablespoon, your teaspoon of garlic in there. All right. A little bit of garlic. Yep. Sprinkle it? Yep, sprinkle it in there on the Kids, don't try this at home without a parent. I'd be lost. Mix it in. See what I mean? So we're going to cook the onions until they're translucent so you can kind of see through them. You can spread them out on the middle of the pan. You have to be in the corner. So they have to be in the oil. Yes. You had to mix them through the oil. So you mix the onions through the oil, spread them out in the pan, cook them up. See, I was just doing that for the viewers. I was just testing to make sure they're still paying attention. Still paying attention. Oh. I don't know if the camera's catching this, but he is flinging onions everywhere. Well, they're Try balanced. Try not to fling the onions. Get the onions off there. They're bouncier than they look. Bouncier than they look. Or flingier. That's a word. I'm making it a word. So now that those are getting cooked. So with this recipe, I, I like to use ground beef, but you can use ground pork, ground turkey, um, whatever kind of meat you want to use with it. So next we're going to add in our ground beef in here. I didn't launch any out. So I just dump it in with this. You can probably just dump it in. Okay. This is not going to end really good. That one better than I expected. Now we're going to stir it around. Yep, yeah, so just kind of chop it up, poke it around. Spread it out a little. There you go. I'm not launching any raw meat in there. No, we'll be very careful to keep the raw meat in there. We don't want to spread that around. Best if you have kids. So now we're going to add our ground ginger. While well, that's sitting, starting to cook. So with our ginger, we need a teaspoon of ginger. That's for the rolling. Don't need it in the dress. All right. Yep. And sprinkle it over. Oop. Sprinkling's not a thing? Nope. Dumping's more my name. Dumping's more a thing. Okay. We're also going to add in a teaspoon. We'll get another teaspoon measuring. Of salt. Alright. We like to use the pink salt or Do real I sprinkle salt. This? Yeah, sprinkle that over there as well. 
Yeah, you're doing good. Nope, I forgot the pepper. We're also going to add a quarter teaspoon of pepper. I get a water in your mouth. the garlic. <laughs> and the last thing we're going to add is a tablespoon of sriracha. You can use liquid sriracha, whatever kind of sriracha you want to use. Uh, for me, I have some of the Epicure um, sriracha powder. So whatever whatever kind you want to use. So we need, I need a little bit of it. Now you can add more or less of these spices depending on your taste uh, that you prefer. All right, really give good. that a mix, stir that in there, and get that hamburg stirred up. And some of my ketones. So uh, those of you that have been watching, you know that we don't necessarily eat keto all the time. Uh, we do drink ketones and get the benefit of keto, which is ketosis. We drink our ketones every day. Um, that allows us to have the flexibility with our meals. We can have potatoes and things that aren't keto. Um, we do try to stay low carb, clean carbs, but we don't always. So by drinking ketones every day, it means that uh, we know we're in ketosis and we're getting the health benefits of keto. Now, as far as our cooking, like I said, we do try to stay clean, lower carb, and uh, this egg roll in a bowl is a fantastic choice for my kids. They love it. I love it. And uh, my husband loves it as well. So hopefully you guys will like it. Uh, please share, uh, like, our con uh, like our video, and subscribe. Comment what your favorite meal we've made so far is. I should get all that stuff. that out a little bit, let it cook. It stayed on the table. You want to let it sit there for a bit? Mm-hmm. make sure everything is And then just bang off your thing, just leave the same one. Later that same evening. <laughs> okay, so we're back. We've got uh, our meat is cooked, the cabbage has been sauteed, it's nice and tender. Um, you can cook your cabbage to whatever desired consistency you'd like. Next step up is to top with green onion, which we don't have. And a half a tablespoon of sesame seeds. Not to be confused with Sesame Street. Right, not Sesame Street. It'd be hard to put on our dinner. Yeah, I don't think Big Bird would put it in here. It looks so pretty. It smells so good. Mm -hmm. You guys should smell it. Make your own. Mm -hmm. All right, you want to put a scoopful on there? All right. Let's show them what this looks like. Perfection. Gourmet. Gourmet. All right, so there it is. There's what we've got. Now, do we need to add more soy sauce to this? You want to trust, taste that? Well, you can add more soy sauce uh, to whatever your desired taste is. Mm. Show everybody how pretty it looks with your sesame seeds on there. Oh, well, that's really good. Good stuff? Mm -hmm. All right. All my, all my kids like it. <laughs> yes, we just cooked it. If it was cold, it wouldn't be as good. It wouldn't, it wouldn't be okay to eat that because then you're going to cook. Right. So thanks everybody for watching. If you would like your own uh, paper copy, uh, printable copy rather of our recipe here, 
comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you can stay up to date on all the great recipes, baking, cooking, and uh, fun stuff that we're doing with a household with six kids and uh, a love of experiences. Thanks guys.